you talked about vulnerability. Like we have mm-hmm. to be willing to go to those other people. Like I yeah. was not willing yeah. to do that for a very yeah. long time. So relationships are hard because you you're constantly like like we said at the beginning, you're constantly seeing this person. So, you know, like past, present, future, all that, like all of the stuff you might see in that person, all of the stuff you might think about that person, all the stuff you might remember about that person. That's right there. Like there's no, there's no hiding from it. There's no backing away from it. Like all of that is right there. So, you know, so like if you have a problem with somebody, for instance, like you said, you like all of that hits you, like all of that weight comes with it. So even if it's something as seemingly innocuous as, I don't know, you didn't take the trash out or whatever the case may be, you know, there's there's more weight to it because there are more stakes. There's more involved at this point. Right. Yes. But but at the same time, it's the relationship only only the you come to the relationship with who you are. Like you can you can try and bring, you know, a false face to a relationship and you might even succeed for however long. You know, some people succeed for years, some people succeed for all of five minutes. You know, it's Mm -hmm. it varies from person to person. But at the end of the day, all you can bring to your relationship is you, no matter how hard yeah. you try. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and that's a good point. Just being you. Exactly. If you, if you are a type of person that I know for me, you know, I, I kind of go into my thinking mode, constantly thinking, constantly trying to. Uh, I can be a little bit indecisive, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. on certain situations. And. You know, I think now I've become a little bit cautious, and it kind of goes back to this alpha versus beta, uh, you know, uh, movement. On you know, people call it alpha with beta tendencies, or beta with alpha tendencies. When you're a beta, or you're an alpha, or you're a simp. Mm. And you know, <clears throat> in what I just ways? feel like I'm sorry. Go ahead. In, in, in what in what ways do you do you feel like it goes back to that? Uh, because I think we as men and, and also as women, we, in, in some respects, is that we try to be something else to please the, the situation or the other yeah. person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I think I think there is room for that. I think yeah. there is room for, <clears throat> we, there used to be a saying that you do dumb things for love. You do dumb <laughs> things All the time. For love. And It's just one of those things where it's like, no matter what you're going through with your your significant other, if you're still waking up to the fact that, you know, you look at her and like, man, she she may get on my nerves or he may get on my nerves. You know, you may go through your issues, but you look at it from from a perspective of, this person's bringing something that I know uh, it's, it's like value. It's like value. You know, where you put your money is, where you put your money is what you value at, in return. Yeah, what you put in a relationship or marriage or dating is what you value in a person. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, what comes to disruption is the fact that you're putting value in a person, which means your time. Mm-hmm. And if you feel like you're not getting that value or that time, because time is value, and value is time. Mm-hmm. Back, mm-hmm. then, then, you know what I mean? You're doing all you can. And that's yeah. where I feel like a lot of discrepancies and issues come in. Oh, we yeah. Are, we aren't cognizant or aware of the fact that I think some people put in more time and value another person more than they value themselves yeah definitely like that was uh that was a situation i found myself in 
um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like I was perfectly happy to to work to 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 fight to all of that stuff for this other person but I wasn't willing to do that for myself at the time. Right. Okay. And which, she was, which, which, which could be an issue, which could be yeah, an issue. Yeah, because It was an issue. Was if an you're issue. willing to fight for somebody else, but you're not willing to fight for yourself, that can be a situation where you're willing to go all in for a relationship, but you're mm-hmm. not willing to go all in to fix the relationship, to fix yourself. In, to in, fix in, yourself in. yeah that's that's the that's you that's know what the, i mean like yeah. i for years man i've said i've, I've kind of stepped on therapy mm-hmm. for years to where you know therapy i refuse it, it, yeah. i just find no value in talking to somebody else about my problems but exactly now, now that i look at it it's, it's i do encourage self-therapy because we as we as men we're very visual. We there could be situations where we need to talk to somebody that's in a better light than w- where we are in certain situations. Mm-hmm. You got to keep your circle positive. You got to keep your circle in a place where, for example, like if Jay is in a relationship and married, uh, he's having issues. I- I'm making known to him, like, man, I've been there, dude. This is what you. It's almost like. You're, you're, he's calling me, and I'm the, I'm the, I'm the relationship Google. You know, yeah, I can Google, I can Google what to do about the situation, but it's better to call somebody who's been through it before. That's that's like, all right, now how did you get out of this? What do you do? Now I want to, I want to give a, I want to give a small caveat to that because you don't need to be taking advice from everybody. Let's let's be real. <laughs> well, well, well. I mean, I mean, okay. Let, let's 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 yeah. The caveat is. Yeah, okay. that's if you, that's if you, all. Know, if, if you know this person for years, mm-hmm. I, I always I always take advice from people that are in the same situation as I am. Yeah, it's it's about okay. but you you know it's people who you you validated their character and the quality Correct. and, yeah. and you that validated quality, their so, character yeah. and you've known them a long time. Yeah, and you exactly. Have trust in them. That's different. Mm-hmm. But yeah. uh, don't don't take advice from uh, Joe Schmo that you know, been in and out of relationships and uh, just you've only known him for two weeks or her or two weeks, mm-hmm. you know, and, and and it's all about, like we said, keeping your circle positive. Yeah. You know I mean? But, but it also goes back to what you said at the beginning, like you, you talked about vulnerability, like we have mm-hmm. to be willing to go to those other people like i yeah, was not yeah. willing to do that for a very yeah. long time like yeah, it's still it. not even it's still not even like my first reaction my first reaction isn't to call people and tell them yo i'm struggling with this thing you know yeah. like like tonight for instance uh i won't give you too many details but uh i i needed i had a i had financial questions basically mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know and I uh, I reached out to my older brother, which is something I don't do often. Mm-hmm. And he was more than willing to share information to 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 just walk me through the process. And yo, it was, and we ended up just chatting for like a, a few minutes after, and it was cool as cool as anything. But I yeah. had to be willing to ask, right? So that 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 that's a good point you bring up because you kind of broken that mode of kind of doing the same things like all right man i'm not gonna reach out to anybody mm-hmm. but now you felt like you reached out to somebody that you trust and kind of been through that situation before and no and shoot that's your brother you've known him for i won't i won't say your age but x of my years. <laughs> you know what i mean and just yeah. know he's old <laughs> <laughs> come on dog <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 my question to you is Bet you that that brought a different feeling when you got that answer. Like, hmm, I didn't think of that. And it mm-hmm. kind of brings a different mode of all right. It's 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 almost like you're putting together a desktop computer. Mm-hmm. You buy a brand new motherboard, 
mm-hmm. you know, and you, you put it down in the, in, in the, uh, in the cedar and it's mm-hmm. like, Ooh, I'm going to, I'm going to put that in my memory banks. So the next time this situation happens, I'm like, yo, I got the blueprint now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I got the blueprint to where it, it, it causes you to be like, when this, when it, when another situation happens, not even financially, but maybe more on a, on a like, yo, I'm going through this, or like, hey, my significant other is doing this, or I'm having this issue. What do I do? It causes you to seek out advice more often with yeah. with close people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I I've I've learned a lot of gotten to know a lot of people. You know, good people that you know have said, oh yeah, man, I've dealt with that. You know what I mean? People I never, I never really thought would have gone through that, man. Yeah, you, you, we, we don't know anybody's story, you know? Yeah. Like we, we, well, I mean, yeah, you don't know anybody's story. And, you know, like, yes, they have to be willing to share it with you, but you, it starts with you sharing your own. It starts with you being open to listen, I guess, is the, is the big thing. Because, you know, somebody somebody might be trying to tell you their story, but you've never been open to hearing it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like for instance, like I said, the in my relationship, I wasn't in a great place. The, yeah. the and, and, amount and, and of... I can, and you can kind of, you don't have to get personal. Or tell oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you feel like you kind of felt resentful just a little bit to her about it? I wouldn't say resentful, but it would, I would get angry because it was like, yo, you see me trying to figure this out. So let me figure it out. Like you, you know, like, or, uh, or, you know, just, just give me the time to work through this or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. at the same time, you know, like uh, I, I said, I was willing to fight for other people for, her but not for me right Mm -hmm. in that same vein she was also willing to fight for me but not necessarily put as much energy into herself right Mm -hmm. so i feel like that's why it initially worked so well is because like we were both willing to go so far for the other person but at the end of the day Mm -hmm. we weren't addressing or I will say, at least for me, you know, I wasn't addressing the issues. So it didn't matter how far she was willing to go for me until I actually did the work. It didn't mean anything, which is why I, I right now I try to focus so much on personal responsibility because it's mm-hmm. like at the end of the day, yes, you can reach out to other people. Yes, you can you can you can be vulnerable with other people but you still have to be willing to do the work. Because when you do the work, uh, I mean, if you're with the right person, they, they, they notice that. Yeah. And then that, that causes a, a uh, domino effect to say, you know what, I want to make this relationship work. So I, I see the, the work that my, my significant other is putting in. You know, let me, let me respond to that. Let me meet them halfway. Yeah, but... You know, uh... You know, it's like whether, whether, when it, whether it comes to making yourself vulnerable or being willing to do the work, all of it starts with you, you Mm -hmm. know, nobody's gonna, there's no one person who's going to show up in your life and make you vulnerable. Like that's your vulnerability is yours to give. You know, you, you, I, I, I now, will, now I will say, I will say yeah. like, there are people who's, who's for lack of a better term, energy or, or aura or whatever the case may be yeah. encourages you to do that. There are people like that, right? Yeah. There are people you to, to be open to talk. Exactly. To but yeah. most of the time, those people I find those people who the people who encourage me to be open and vulnerable are people who are willing to be open and vulnerable themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So all they're doing at that point is controlling their vulnerability. They're offering their vulnerability. They're offering their openness. Yeah. And you meet them halfway. And that's why I say that's all, all you can, all you control your vulnerability. You respond in kind, yes, but there are definitely situations where people are being open and vulnerable. And I will even, I'll speak to myself, like there were situations where, you know, she was open and vulnerable with me and I was not in the place to, to be that. And I was like, mm. yo, I will, I will be here for you to do that. But if you looking for it from me, you're not getting it, you know, mm. like my scars are mine and I will deal with them by myself. You, you don't. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. And, and, and that's a, that's a respectable way of taking it. You know what I mean? To where you're, you're feeling like my issues aren't necessarily your problem. Yeah. And, but, but yeah. at the same time, at the same time, when you, and this is, this goes back to what you were speaking speaking about earlier when you're in a relationship they can't just be your problem anymore exactly yeah it becomes your uh, our problem exactly and you've got to look at it from a perspective of you know every man and woman is going to make mistakes you know i've been, mm -hmm. I've been putting up uh you know, certain mistakes, you know, like cheating or, uh, I mean, I know that's a little bit extreme, but, you know, verbal abuse, you know, physical abuse, those, those are a little bit extreme to the fact that mm -hmm. th those are, those are mistakes. Those are choices. Yeah. You know, there are going to be times in your relationships that, you know, you have to sit back and, even for the fellas, that's fellas. We, because I go through it myself, where I sit back and I think about all the things I've done throughout my lifetime. Yep. And the fact that I've gotten here to a better place, a happier place, it's almost like it's almost like an addiction or a drug to the fact that I've got to go back. <laughs> I've got to. I've got to. I've got to go back to that place. Because that's what got me here. That's where I feel safe. That's where I feel um, my most um, what's the word I'm looking for? My, my my most safe zone. But at the same time, you got to look at it to the fact that those things that you went through before are just stepping stones and maturity factors mm -hmm. to, to to a better place than where you're at right now. To be able yeah. to educate and tell others to the fact that yo. You don't have to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure that I've known people to say that marriage is 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 you know it's work, and it is. It yeah, is yeah. work. Relationships are, to me, in my opinion, are part time hours until you get to the full time forty hours a week. Yep, until you job. get married. Yeah, it's a job. Yeah. The whole, and, and we've been preaching to the fact that being with the right person, yes. But be with someone that is willing to not only work with you, accept you, but help you get to a place to you guys are forever entrenched in togetherness. And I, t I tell you, and, 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 and you brought us to a good point to where it's like, as a man, you know, we, we look at the physical things outside, you know, as far as what a woman looks like, mm -hmm. how she dresses, mm -hmm. you know, what type of makeup, her nails, her hair, all of those things. A woman looks at the potentiality of a man, how she would treat her, how he, you know, uh, the aura, the confidence, and you know that's that's a different that's a different topic, but we we we've got to somehow as men incorporate that on how we look at a woman, 
the potentiality of that woman? How is she in certain situations? Because, for example, man, there are times where I don't want to talk to anybody. Mm-hmm. Yep, definitely. Especially a hard, hard day from work. I just want to come home and watch TV and don't want to be bothered by anybody. Yep. But when you're with a significant other, you've got to put yourself in a situation where it's like, first of all, when I when I come in the house, there's a routine to where, you know, she comes downstairs, she smiles, she's happy to see me. That brings down the walls yeah. of what you're going through. You know what I mean? That's one. Two, yeah. making sure you're eating together every day. You know what I mean? Even if you gotta, you know, watch TV, put on a TV show, you know, have a conversation, see how you spend that time with your significant other. Every try to do it. If you're not living with your significant other, you know, you guys are just dating in a relationship. That's different. But try the the little things to, to the little things of what you both like. Because as men, there are gonna be times where you had a hard day at work and you kind of revert back to that behavior of when you weren't living with someone. <laughs> you just you, you feel like you feel like you want your kingdom back. You feel like you want your palace back. I mean that's that's why uh that's why the good lord invented things like man caves. Uh yes, yeah. Um <laughs> but 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 what I'm saying is what I'm saying is make sure you put in the work first mm-hmm. to earn that I, I call it man card, man cave card. Not saying that, you know, a woman controls what you do, how you do it, where you go. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if you're having a bad day, instead of reverting back to a lot of things that you used to do, you know, like being to yourself, closing off life, talk to your significant other. That's the true test of, if she's digging you or not. Same thing for the ladies. If you had a hard day, talk to your significant other. See how he reacts. I know sometimes I'm not the best listener, but I'm there. I may not have the answers for you, but I'm there. Uh, well, that that's that's another. This might be a topic for another time, but sometimes, yeah. sometimes, sometimes they don't want you to come up with an answer. You know, Correct. sometimes Correct. it's. Sometimes it's just just sit there, sit here and listen. Yeah, like sometimes you just gotta sit and listen, like actually listen. Not yeah, yeah that's cool. You know. Meanwhile, you know you you uh, what's it called? The I don't know. The Warriors lost last night, so you're you're not even thinking about it. Whatever the case may be, I don't know. But yeah. actually listen, <laughs> and uh, if if she if she wants suggestions cool if she doesn't it's cool to just sit and listen you know i've i've gotten pretty far in in relationships just by like even if in in my case like even if it didn't seem like i was listening like i uh i like i like doing stuff with my hands if i'm uh if i'm not like if I'm not in front of a computer or if I'm not uh if I'm not watching something, I like doing stuff with my hands. So even if I'm like on my phone, I would still offer, I would still like say stuff in response to what she was what she was speaking about. And not just in that moment, but I would also reference back to it later on because it was like i remember you were telling me about this this and this and it was like okay yeah you were listening and i've gotten that a couple of times and in the moment it's irritating because it's like yeah i listen but you know it is what it is but you know rolling on into like sort of my final thoughts you know like all of the stuff we're talking about all of the like being willing to talk to somebody, being like being open to hearing their uh, hearing their struggles and all of that sort of stuff. That's that's part of the work that goes into a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But also in those moments when somebody is doing that to you, like with you, that is them revealing their vulnerability. 
Like that is them being open with you. That is them being honest with you. That is them sharing with you. Like, and that takes a certain level of vulnerability. So I understand, you know, there's this, there's this cliche of, you know, oh, I come home from work and the first thing my wife want to do is talk, you know, and Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's probably what she does want to do because you are her person. That's the job you signed up for, homie. Like you, in the, in the second you take those vows in sickness and in health till death do us part, you have said to that person, in all my mess, in all my foolishness, in all of Keisha talking mess about me behind my mess, behind my back at the job, all of that sort of stuff, you have agreed to be here. That is what you have chosen. Yeah. And in that same way, I know it's I know it's not as prevalent in 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 men or it's not as widely accepted or advertised or whatever term you want to throw there we have to be willing to do that same thing because that is how you build a relationship like yes yes with with the time and all of that sort of stuff you know you you've been dating for a year or two years or three years or however long you know you you get to know a person and all of that But you don't really know a person until you have sat down with them when they are in their uh, in their pajamas and they are telling you about how much they hate old girl at the job. (laughs) Meaning, meaning just as much as you see her at her best times, you're going to see a woman at her worst time. Just as much as she's going to see you at your worst time. Yeah. And you have to you have to be willing to show her that because that is the only way she will get the completest picture of you. Yeah. And once once she has the and again, you're a, you're a whole person. It's going to take time and, and a lot of effort on both of your parts for anybody to get to know you completely. But. It starts with you being willing to share that. I agree. Well, um, that concludes our episode here. Um, We really appreciate you guys' support. and uh, Make sure you guys follow us on Let's Rap 2 on Twitter, on Instagram, Let's Rap underscore. And you make sure you guys like and subscribe our YouTube page, which is Let's Rap, L-E-T-S-R-A-P. Um, And we're pretty much on all our socials. On those three primary socials, you can find our other socials such as Patreon and TikTok. And also we're on all platforms as as far as uh, podcasts. Yep. Really appreciate all y'all and uh, continuing on this journey with us. Yep. 15 episodes here. Yep. And this is Philosophical and our co-host, Jay Echo. Jay Echo. What's good? And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy, y'all.